This is the examination of the hidden human condition. You're listening to the Hidden Killers Podcast. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. There's all different types of parents out there. Um, this one I don't think you're necessarily going to find in the uh, children's book that, uh, you know, explains the world and families to young children. And, you know, this person uh, just lives with their mom. This one lives with their dad. This is mom and dad. This is mom and mom. This is uh, dad and dad. This is uh, this is a woman, uh, a mom who uh, decided to kill her special needs daughter in the hospital. That's usually not one of the categories of the murderous parent. But unfortunately, more and more these days. Uh, we seem to be seeing this uh, in our society. And I don't think it's just because we have access to more media and more news than ever before. I feel like this has been on the rise. How about you? You know, I just think there are a lot of people who have no business even having kids. Yeah. And it's much harder to adopt a rescue dog from a shelter than it is to have a baby and bring it home. Like, you know, at least if I adopt a rescue dog, they're going to come over and look at my fence in my backyard and see what my house is like and check with my vet. Yeah. You can bring a kid home and you don't, nobody well, helps you. As long as it's one that you made. Uh, if, yeah. you're, yes. if, yes. if you're a yes. loving couple and you want to provide a wonderful home to a child and you're not able to have children, you're going to go through so many steps that it just makes more sense to get that child from another country. Uh, and yes. even that's right. not easy. Uh, when we have such a crisis of children needing healthy homes, we put up every fucking barrier we can to get them there. And 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 while we're waiting to find those those right homes, we put them in situations and, and in systems that are very flawed, do have certainly plenty of good people in them, but the systems themselves being so flawed and so inefficient that the kids end up going through quite often years of abuse uh, and neglect, uh, and then they grow up, and the system ran out of time because it moves so damn slow. Uh, this is the story of a 36-year-old Jessica Bortle of Alabama. Uh, she's going to be standing trial for the alleged manslaughter and aggravated battery of her 14-year-old special needs daughter, uh, 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 Jasmine Singletary. The incident came to light on July 21st of 2021 when officers from the Pensacola Police Department responded to a distressing call from a medical examiner's office at Sacred Heart Hospital. Uh, they were uh, confronted with the shocking revelation involving a young girl with a neuromuscular disorder. According to the probable cause affidavit, Jasmine had been admitted to the hospital July 8th, 2021, after suffering a closed head injury of suspicious origins. Tragically, her condition deteriorated and five days later, she passed away in the hospital room from what medical examiners described as a massive injury similar to those found on traffic crash victims. The autopsy performed by the medical examiner unveiled the extent of the horrific incident, revealing two fractured ribs and severe blunt force trauma that had ripped open Jasmine's liver, leading to her death within minutes. Surveillance footage captured Jessica Bortle exiting her daughter's hospital room and appearing to be in pain, just moments before the hospital staff discovered Jasmine unconscious. Initially, Bortle denied any knowledge of what could have caused her daughter's injuries, but eventually confessed to her actions. In her admission to investigators, Bortle described a fit of rage triggered by her daughter's frustration over broken crayons. Yes, that's a good reason, a good alibi to kill your child over. According to the affidavit, Jasmine began to cuss at her, adding to Bortle becoming angry and lashing out. In a moment of horrifying violence, she slammed a hospital table into Jasmine's abdomen, pressing down on it with her full weight, even after the child expressed pain. Just picture that for a second. You're, yeah. you're mad at your daughter for broken crayons, and your, your, your course of action is to take the hospital table, throw it on your daughter's abdomen, and then lay on it? I mean, in, what, front of, while, in front of your mother slash her grandmother. While she's in the hospital. Yes. Testimonies from Jasmine's grandmother, Rose Mathis, further supported the devastating account, recounting a tense situation leading up to the incident. The grandmother revealed that Jasmine's distress over broken crayons caused the situation to escalate, leading to the fatal confrontation with the hospital table. This is, some, this is a huge problem in our society. No one can cope with anything. And 
And this is a special needs yeah. young girl. And so, <sighs> you know, she can't, she has lots of issues. And so maybe she can't express herself. She might get frustrated and that might come out as anger, you know, because she just doesn't have the capability maybe of reasoning and knowing um, or controlling her emotions. So she could have gotten really mad, but she can't help it. And she's a child. There's a, a epidemic of people who it cannot handle any sort of uh, pushback, if you will, um, and, and are also narcissists. And so that's a toxic mix. And that's what you get with people like this. They, they can't handle things. And then you also have the narcissistic uh, tendencies or personality on the other side where everything has to be exactly how they like it. And they're going to act out like children uh, until they, they get their way. Uh, and after an extensive investigation, authorities determined that Bortles sustained pressure on the table caused catastrophic obliteration that's quite a word to use. Obliteration of Jamie's of Jasmine's liver, as reported by the medical examiner. Uh, if she's found guilty on both counts, here's the fucked up part. If she's found guilty on both counts, she could face up to 45 years in prison. How is this just not like an instant you're going away for the rest of your life or we're just going to drown you in the bathtub and say it was an accident? <laughs> and how is she even pleading not guilty to this? It's interesting to me because she admitted to what she did. So why are they going to trial? Why isn't this just, well, that makes no sense. Unless she might have changed her mind and said, oh, I'm not guilty. Not guilty by I admitted to it. And my mother saw the whole thing. I don't know if it's going to be. killed my daughter. Why wouldn't you just go, you know what? I killed my daughter. I can't live with myself. Lock me up. Not guilty by reason of insanity, maybe. I don't know. I I mean, really, the best thing this person can do, uh, probably for themselves and the rest of society, is to, you know, re voluntarily remove themselves. Um, I, I don't, I mean, why? <laughs> you did she this. She obviously has serious anger issues. Serious yeah. anger issues. Yeah. It just, yeah. that is the saddest thing. And so the whole thing, I think the daughter was probably in there because of something the mom did. Well, and that's what I'm wondering about as well. Uh, it, an injury of suspicious origins. Yeah. What I'm wondering here is, did mom know that, you know, eventually daughter's going to get better. Daughter's going to talk. Daughter's going to tell what happened initially with those suspicious, those suspicious origins. And then mom's going to get in even more trouble, but that's not going to happen if she dies. However, yes, yes, it will. Uh, and you'll be charged with something else. But I'm wondering if in her mind she thought, you know, it's in the hospital. She's already sick. Maybe uh, they'll just write it off as, uh, you know, she died. She coded. Uh, I don't know. Uh, these people don't tend to be the brightest bulbs or the brightest crayons in the box. Right. Pun intended. Uh, uh, and there you go. Mom of the year, uh, as always. Uh. You're locked into the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.